Hello everyone, my name is Kumar and welcome back to my channel Kumar Programming. Friends, in our previous video, we have learned about how to write the unit test cases for our get post API methods. And then after that, we have also learned about how we can mock our API calls and data. And now in this video, we are going to cover about code coverage and reporting by using our NYC Istanbul tool. So let's start. Code coverage is a very important aspects from the testing perspective and most of the companies are asking about more than 90% code coverage from any application. So today we will learn about how we can see our code coverage and how we can do the reporting. Let's understand about the NYC Istanbul tool. NYC Istanbul is a code coverage tool uh, for the JavaScript that can be used to track how much of your code is being tested and it can be integrated with the test runner like mocha that we are doing as of now as well as it can be integrated with the jasmine as well as jest and it also generate the code coverage report and this tool collect information about which part of your code were executed during the test and provide a report that shows the code coverage percentage as well as it highlight the line of the code that were not executed from the code so we will learn about all those things step by step in our practical demonstration in this video so let's start before starting this video friends I have a very humble request to all of you if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all of my upcoming videos and friends please support me and my channel by subscribing it and sharing these videos to the people who really need it your each and every subscription gives me a lot of confidence and moral support to me to make these videos for you so without wasting much more time on it let's start now let's flip to the visual studio so in order to configure our NYC Istanbul tool, we have to install NYC and PM install NYC. If you remember that already we have installed NYC in our first part of this series under configure and installation. And if you see here inside our dependency, we have already installed this NYC tool, right? But this NYC is a dev dependency. So we are going to move as a dev. So here we will install as a save dev. So now this is going to be moved from dependency to dev dependency so you can see here now my nyc has been moved from dependency to dev dependency and now let's see here if you see here in test one here we have to use nyc before mocha so i'm just going to change this name as a test coverage so now let's run this test coverage over here npm run test coverage So here you can see we are seeing the coverage detail over here it's showing only 26 percent because we have we are executing for only couple of test cases so let me just see where we have uh, only yeah here we have only so i'll remove this so what will happen now all the test cases is going to be executed from this calculator.ts file i hope that we don't have any other dot only okay so here you see couple of test cases are getting failed uh, this is related to should return sum from the test calculator class so it would be here it's failing because already we have changed this add method and we have developed it earlier so that's the reason it's failing now so i'll just make it comment for the for the time being and let's see the hook test also and this should be also related with the sum i believe uh, yeah this is related to the sum only so i'll comment it for now now let's run it once again yes so now you can see here as of now we have only one file right in our source folder so in case you are having multiple files over here then all those file will be displayed here and you will be able to see how much code is being covered okay so see here we have our 94% uh, as a statement and 100% as a branch and function 90% have been covered and lines are 94.73% have been covered right but if you see uncovered lines it's a 25 number 25 line is uncovered so now we can see what all the lines are uncovered in the report so let me tell you how we can see that so first of all we need to configure our nyc tool so here we will create one more file as a dot nyc rc okay for now i am going to paste the configuration over here that you can use also 
the same and i'll explain you each and every field over there this is our uh, nycrc configuration we have and if you see here include we are including this source folder okay and exclude we are going to exclude this our test folder we have to execute our test case and report it on this folder itself okay on this classes itself and what would be the extension extension would be dot ts file typescript file okay and what would be the reporter lcov text and text summary okay and here we have given as a check coverage is true and how much percentage that we are going to cover okay i mean like what would be the threshold so here for lines we have given 95 statement we have given 95 function also 95 and branches 95 so overall our code coverage should be there more than 95 percent okay then it would be success so most of the companies are asking about more than 90 percent so here i have taken as a everything as a 95 percent and the report is going to be generated inside the report report directory as a test report okay so now save it and run the test cases once again and pm run test coverage now we would be able to see here our test report folder and inside that we can see our report okay so here you can see we are seeing our test report folder and here if you see it's showing error as a coverage for the lines 94.73 does not meet with the global threshold as a 95 percent so it's not meeting with the 95 percent because here we have set the threshold as a 95 percent okay and here we are the test case are not written for this line so this is uncovered and if you see here total coverage summary that we are seeing here this report because of this text summary and here for and here we are getting the complete i mean like how many statements are being completed two branches out of two branch have been covered here 10 functions have been covered out of 11 and 18 lines covered out of 19 lines okay now let's see the report here in order to see the report we have to go to the lcov report folder and here you will find um, index.html let's reveal in the file explorer and i will open in the chrome browser okay now here you can see whatever the files you will be having you will be seeing the list of all the file over here and you will see how much statement branches functions and lines are being covered okay now if you see which code is not being covered because it's it's only covered 94 percent so let's see how we can see which line is not being covered so if you see here get random value okay these lines are not covered we have not written the test case for this line okay so that's the reason it's statement and functions and lines are not 100 percent so we will write the test case for get random value function so let's quickly write this write the test case for this function so go in our calculator.spec.ts here i'll write the test case for our random should return random value random value from 1 to 10 right so here we will so here we have in the arrange section we have instantiated our calculator class now in the act section we are going to call our random function so here i'll make a variable as a const random number equal to calc dot get random value right and this is going to be generate the number in between 1 to 10 right so we have to test over here in our assert section it would be expect this random number to be at least first of all we have to check at least one right it should be at least one and second thing that we can check at most would be 10 right so now we have written the test cases for our random function as well now let's run this test case once again now hopefully uh, we would be getting our 100 percent report since we have already covered our random function as well now if you see we have covered our statement 100% branches function and lines everything that we have covered 100% and there is no uncovered line as of now right as well as in the summary also if you see we have covered everything like 19 out of 19 2 out of 2 branches 11 out of 11 functions and 19 line out of 19 lines completely okay now we can see the report as well now if you just refresh this report see now we are we have covered our this function as well so there is no highlighted lines now if i go back and you can see here 
by this calculator dot ts is 100% completed in each and every sections okay so friends i hope that you understood about how we can see our code coverage and how we can see the report by using our nyc istanbul tool so friends now i am going to complete this series for our mocha chai unit testing in typescript and node but still if you are having any issues or any concerns you can just reach out to me on my facebook or twitter and you can comment below and i'll try to provide you update on that as soon as possible i'll push this code to the github and provide the link to the description so you can take the reference from there and friends if you have followed this series from the beginning so i'm pretty much sure that as of now at least you would be able to understand that how you can write your test cases and how to perform unit testing for your application so friends i have covered most of the basic concepts that is being used for our unit testing and now if you are following from the beginning this series then definitely you will be in the position to write the test cases and do your unit testing for your application that's all for the day and i'll see you in my next video till then take care